Um, so if you read my blog at all, you'll know that this guy is a philosopher, philosophy student, that is. And I'm stuck with him, for better or worse, for richer or for poorer, for philosophy or non-philosophy, but probably always philosophy. I am with him. It's the beginning of a school year, so you might find yourself in the company of a philosophy student, and you will probably wonder how to talk to them, because while, while they're human like the rest of us, I, I think they are a rare breed, and um, I just, I think it's better to go into things in form. The first thing you need to know about philosophy people, let's we'll just call them philosophers. Um, and I'm not talking about people who are like, oh yeah, I like philosophy and I consider myself a, you know, a type of philosopher. No, I'm talking about professional, whether it's in their grad school or they're already, you know, they already have their PhD and they're probably teaching somewhere. They, those are the people you need to learn to talk to, not the people who dabble in philosophy and think that they're really smart. They're just don't even bother. First, the first thing you need to know is they love talking philosophy. Like that, that is, that is their soul. If you're not careful, you will get stuck. A really long explanation of stuff that you didn't even know existed or, or never knew it was an issue. You have to be careful. You gotta kind of tiptoe around the conversation or you will get stuck in something like that and you will just want to take an ice pick and stab both eyes. The second thing to know is that you're pretty safe. You can, you can appear intelligent and in the know if you ask them what they are working on. You don't have to know what, what it is, what it means. Just say, so what are you working on right now? That's, that's a good thing to start. And then they can like kind of spill their, the thoughts that are really occupying their mind and it's gonna change the course of philosophy for the rest of time. And sometimes you might get it. Like if you find yourself with somebody who studies ethics, I would say you're lucky. Like, cause I like to talk to those, those students of ethics because I can kinda like relate a little bit usually. Moral issues, ethical issues, cool. But if you find yourself with someone who does like the philosophy of language, which is what my husband does. Good luck. You can ask them who they're studying under, who they're taking their courses from, and, and who they want to be their mentor. That's very important because their mentor uh, sort of determines how their career is going to play out with their dissertation and how they're going to publish things and yeah, they, they shape them. They basically control them. So it's good to know a little bit about those people, those mentors, those big wigs. And usually the philosophy student is somewhat in love with them. So you just gotta get over that. Like if you get jealous over that, then move on. The fourth thing to know, and perhaps this is really encouraging, is that they are, most of them, just normal people. Uh, key in on some of the, their interests. And usually, they like Game of Thrones. They do. And usually, they've read the books. So, you should just talk to them. You can just, if you watch the show, you can just ask them what they think of this. And oh, I met some of those who are exclusively into philosophy and that is it and that's hard the fifth thing to do if you're in a if you're in a social setting with philosophers is have some wine have some wine so carry on grasshopper